The University of Zambia is a higher institution of learning. It was established in 1966 following an act of parliament in 1965. In the quest to link the institution to community development for the benefit of the country, the management of the University of Zambia has over the years established various units and institutions under its umbrella. One of these institutions is the Technology Development Advisory Unit, TDAU, which was created in 1975. This unit was established in 1975 after the University of Zambia realized that there was need to coordinate the approach of providing service beyond teaching and research to the community. The unit was formed as a special platform of the university to provide maximum intellectual and practical service in the total development of the nation. Since the university stores or has a lot of experts, we got, who are, are experts in different fields, social sciences, uh, engineering, uh, agriculture, so it was felt that uh, they needed to do more to help uh, the, the country develop in the rural areas and also in the peri-urban areas. In later years, TDAU was to operate under a board of directors as a semi-autonomous engineering, innovations and consultancy unit of the University of Zambia. So when TDAU was established, the focus was more on uh, generating uh, innovations, engineering innovations, and providing advisory services also again in the engineering sector. In over 40 years of existence, TDAU has emerged as a leading appropriate product design and prototyping institution in the country. The unit's main focus is to support sustainable development through provision of well-researched engineering solutions and affordable engineering products aimed at replacing imported models. We try to adapt the foreign technologies for commercial or for local production where possible because we don't need to import every piece of equipment from outside. We look at those uh, designs and we try to adapt them for local manufacture and local use. Over the years, the unit has adapted and produced several mechanical machines that include the interlocking block, plain block, and the concrete block making machines. We have uh, plain block making machines, we have uh, concrete block making machines that we do in our metal workshop under uh, construction. TDAU's innovations and consultancy areas of focus are building and construction, renewable and alternative energy, agriculture and forestry, food processing, water and sanitation, rural transport and farm power. Uh, uh, the university managed to attract grants from the donors, um, to be specific, from the Netherlands, the, the Dutch government, which also uh, advised the university that uh, they should as well introduce a section which should be uh, producing some of this small uh, equipment uh, to assist the farmers, to assist uh, the communities in various sectors such as water, uh, energy, uh, transport, and uh, sanitation. The work of TDAU in the areas listed above has resulted in over 50 unique innovations which have greatly benefited the public. Under carpentry workshop we have um, mukwa doors and uh, we have um, door frames. We make um, tables, desks that are for the schools and then colleges, even universities. In the metal workshop, uh, we have as well uh, a variety, quite a lot, under uh, construction, uh, agriculture, mining, etc., etc. In collaboration with the Zambia Green Jobs Program, TDAU is currently promoting the use of the interlocking block making machine aimed at preserving the quality of the environment. This machine makes stabilized soil blocks. Stabilized soil uh, blocks, SSB in short, um, machines that we use to make blocks that uh, we use a uh, little cement and then uh, ordinary soil come up with your blocks that are cost effective. And um, under SSBs we have two designs, we have uh, interlocking and uh, plain uh, block making machines. The difference between the interlocking and the plane is that um, 
for interlocking, you do not have to use mortar. You interlock your blocks and then come up with a building. For the plane, uh, you have to use mortar because they have no locking mechanism. The Zambia Green Jobs Program is a four-year partnership between the government of Zambia and a team of United Nations agencies led by the International Labour Organization and funded by Finland. Yeah, the Zambia Green Jobs Program uh, is a program of the government of Zambia, the United Nations system, and the private sector in, the, in Zambia's building and construction industry. It is funded by the government of Finland. The program promotes the development of sustainable enterprises by boosting competitiveness and business growth thanks to green technologies. This program is uh, promoting the balance between economic growth, uh, social development, and uh, the preservation or improvement of the environment. So it balances those three objectives in promoting enterprises that are sustainable and that are able to create jobs, particularly for young people and women. The Green Jobs Program works with local, micro, small and medium enterprises and partners with multinational companies that are investing in Zambia. By 2017, the program will create at least 5,000 decent green jobs, particularly for young people, and enhance at least 2,000 green jobs in MSMEs. One of the ways of reducing poverty is creating decent jobs for people. Um, and if you look at the Zambian population, um, it's largely young people. So the more jobs we can create for young people, um, and, and other different disadvantaged groups, uh, including women, uh, the better. Those jobs uh, provide income, and that income goes to the households and is able to make a contribution not only towards uh, poverty reduction, but also a sustainable livelihoods uh, in terms of uh, supporting families. It is also expected that 8,000 households will, by the year 2017, improve their incomes and livelihoods. TDAU's innovativeness and consultancy acumen has come in handy to support the Green Jobs program. In 2015, 10 micro, small and medium enterprises based in Northwestern Province were trained on how to operate the interlocking block making machine. We have brought on board uh, TDAU as well to come and facilitate the training to ensure that there's a comprehensive understanding in, in terms of uh, producing quality products for this housing unit. Uh, it's a privilege for TDIU to be part of this uh, uh, project of um, concerning the interlocking uh, block uh, making uh, training which is being held here in uh, uh, Meheba, uh, northwestern province. The training was conducted by TTAU in collaboration with Barik Lumwana Mine with financial support from the Green Jobs Programme. The support is ILO and uh, Barrick has also supported through its collaboration with the communities and facilitation of bringing on board the local SMEs to participate and ensure that this goes to a larger scale as well. We are providing the technical uh, uh, information. We are um, involved in it with other um, uh, organizations. The beneficiaries of the training were happy to acquire knowledge and skill for cost-effective and environmentally friendly building practices. What I've learned is it's even first in terms of construction of the house. When it comes to construction of the house, when we are using these blocks, it cannot take much days. Just a few days if the material is available, maybe in two to three weeks' time the house can be completed. Since 1975, TDAU has continued promoting sustainable human development through the acquisition and dissemination of affordable technology in addition to its training, research and consultancy programs. 
interlocking block making machine is helping Zambians across the country to build beautiful, strong and affordable structures. When I decided to build the cottage, I decided to use, to try the bricks from the interlocking block making machine. And uh, this is what I have. This is a two bedroom cottage. And uh, I decided I didn't want to plaster the outside. I wanted to leave it like this so that I could decorate with plastering in certain places and varnish the, the blocks and uh, maintain the brownness. And uh, this is what I have done. And uh, now I'm building another structure, which is going to be a one bedroom cottage with the same blocks. In 2004, we started on the main structure with the first five rooms. And in 2005, in November, we had our first room with our first guest in it. And as that person got money from that room, so we did the next room and for all over until we had all five rooms operational. Then we expanded um, in 2006. We put up another nine rooms. And then uh, at the same time as well, just before that, we'd done the restaurant and bar where we're sitting now. And then had all rooms operational by about 2012. Um, so we have 14 rooms now. Um, we're registered as Tusha Lodge for branding and the correct title is that we are a guest house. In 2008, they procured one machine but later on University of Zambia also donated one to us. So the first one that we got actually we used it to uh, uh, put up the structure that you see the first block that side that is the structure that uh, we put up first and then also this admin block. These are the structures that we are put first using the first machine that we secured. Then after that University of Zambia donated another one so that's the one we used for the block that you see that side the new block. So these are uh, uh, you know it, it, it's it truly as you can see it, it's very cheap and it's not even difficult to put up a structure like that. It's uh, faster compared to the conventional, or the traditional way of putting up a structure. Um, interlocking uh, blocks uh, are, are very beneficial. It's a very good uh, technology uh, which has a lot of uh, benefits. Use of uh, minimum uh, cement, uh, water, we are talking about uh, reducing uh, on uh, uh, deforestation. So basically, you do not have to you do not have to bake uh, the blocks. You don't have to make a kiln for you to make and or to harden the blocks. The eight percent of cement that you add is enough to make the blocks strong using the uh, interlocking block making machines. The properties of the blocks are absolutely brilliant when it comes to temperature control. The, on a warm day the rooms are cool and on a cold day the rooms are warm. So it really does cut costs and in the load shedding now we're all challenged on how do we keep a room in an acceptable state that without power guests will still be comfortable in it and I'm really saying that this technology has been a winner in that context. Apart from its environmentally friendly nature, the interlocking block making machine is a cost effective piece of equipment as it does not need electricity or an engine to operate. The machine has the capacity to reduce the cost of building by 35 to 65 percent depending on the size of the structure. Yeah, you're saving approximately about 40 percent of that compared to the normal six inch concrete block. So that's the, the saving um, from the wall structure. Over the years, TDAU has scored major successes. We have um, made a lot of achievements as TDAU, but we still feel we can do more. Um, in the past, we have even won some awards. Uh, some of them are here, where we were given the first prize as a research and development institution. This is an award which came uh, from the National Science and Technology uh, Council. And also, we were awarded again a second prize in the industry class, uh, category, uh, awarded to TDAU, again from the National Science and Technology Council. There are a lot of other uh, accolades which TDAU has, uh, has uh, received, 
uh, but what we feel we need to do more and we need the support from both within the institution, the University of Zambia, and also from outside, the donor community, and even the general public. This has come as a result of the institution's commitment and focus on five major areas. These are providing engineering prototyping services to the public and industry, developing new technologies and patents for commercialization, manufacturing appropriate tools for small-scale farmers and entrepreneurs, provision of skills training programs, conducting technical and feasibility studies. We have the program which we call product manufacturing program. That is where we try to manufacture simple gadgets or simple equipment and tools which are used by people in different sectors, even by companies in, the, in different sectors. We also have a program which we refer to as short training program. Here we ask experts from different schools and departments to come up with modules which we package and then call for participants and offer that training. The other program is what which, which we call Mechanical Innovation and Commercialization Program. This one, we tap into the research outputs from different schools, particularly the School of Engineering. As you know that most of the research ends at the paper stage. When the researcher make, makes a publication, most of the cases, this, the, 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 the job is done there. But what we do as TDAU under this program, we pick those research outputs and transform them into physical uh, useful products, which are of practical use to the community. So most of those things are done under the Mechanical Innovation and Commercialization Program. The fourth program is which we refer to as the design and prototyping services. Here, this is where we ask industry or even the youth innovators to come through for our professional advice. If they've got any concepts, they've got any designs, which they think we can transform into realizable products, into a tangible products of value at the, mar at, at the market. By linking up with partners such as the Zambia Green Jobs, TDAU remains committed to providing appropriate and affordable technology solutions to support sustainable development throughout Zambia.